Um, Drake Stadium in general, I've had a history here. I've come here in, um, I think it would be like 2011 for, you know, NCAA championships. And, you know, I was just starting to branch out running the hurdles then. So, you know, I always think of the stadium where I first started out, first nationals. You know, I came here in another previous Drake relays and um, I didn't finish as well, but it was an experience. I understand that there's a lot of prestige here and the people of Des Moines support Drake University and the athletes that compete here. And I mean, I guess this this race kind of has a lot of, it has middle schoolers, high schoolers, college, elites, masters. I guess, do you see that anywhere else and is it kind of a unique unique type of feeling here because of that? Um, I do see it a few other places, but you still, every place is different in its own sense. You know, you have pen relays, Texas relays, Drake relays, you know, you see the different levels. You know, you see youth at junior athletes, college athletes, pro athletes, and even, you know, masters and also Paralympic athletes. And so, you know, I respect, you know, universities and track programs that cater to all aspects of track and field. <coughs> Take us through this race today and how you felt. And um, I know that it was a good field of athletes. I focused on myself individually. I had a goal out here to try and run 48 because I knew that's what it would take to win and that's what I needed to, you know, propel myself into other pro meets. This race, I was a bit nervous because I felt like I was might have been a little bit rushed coming out onto the field, but, you know, I told myself, focus on getting out, um, trying to beat try to be as technical as possible and you know your conditioning and your fitness will speak for itself on the home stretch which it did you know um, my <coughs> competitor TJ Holmes on the inside of me he picked up the field pretty quickly and you know some athletes can hesitate and falter just off of something like that you know intruding their peripheral but you know I told myself focus on getting through the first five tackles six seven and eight and once you get on the home stretch you carry it on home